it's finally here. We're going to give away the pinpointer today. So, for those of you that don't know, we hit a thousand subscribers and we're giving away this pinpointer. All you had to do was uh, guess how much clad was in uh, one of the last videos that I turned in. So we will be announcing the winner during the episode. Enjoy. All right, we're back in the water. It's snowing a little bit. First target, get me a penny. Wow, that was unexpected. Oh, it's coming up in nine. Sick target. All right. Well, it's gonna be a junker, but still, ring's a ring. Wow, man, there is not a lot of targets out here. But dude, it just got me maybe a silver ring. I mean, a ring for sure. It's pretty small. Oh yeah, that's gonna be. Well, I'm gonna have to uh, let you know on that, but I'm I'm pretty sure that's nine two five right there. All right, let's keep going. Well, my streak of steel balls continues. Those must be like ball bearings for something. Hey, look at that. My first quarter. Well, I had a lot of high hopes for that hole. I was getting a 12, which is kind of a money tone out here, looking for gold. But, but you got a head stamp and a nail. Okay, so I had kind of a coin spill, so I think. So I just dumped it all in here. Bring it to the bank. It's gonna be easier. I don't want to get my hands wet. There's a penny already. Oh, there's another one. Two pennies. Let's see what else we got in there. Can't remember. I think there was three or four targets. There's that third one. I knew there was three. Damn. Well, that was very nice sound. Who do we get? Ain't even a dog's name on here. Oh, well. Oh, I got a booming 13 here. Who do we got? Pretty rocky down there. I don't really expect to get it. My first scoop. Ooh, I think I got it. Oh, well, it was a good time, but nickel. Well, the new trash vapes. Now that's giving me a pretty funky sound. Piece of sunglasses. Look at that. I was ringing up a 22. Gotta be junk. Feeling pretty light. I mean, I have got gold rings on 22 before. But they're a whole lot bigger than that one. And I'm not, not seeing any marks, but hey, that's pretty cool for a junker. All right, see what else we can get. All right, here's the wrap up. So this is just like after work hunting and it's two different nights. 
probably like an hour and a half each night. And the area I was working, I've worked for years, so there's not a lot of targets left in there. I was just hoping for some fresh drops or, you know, maybe bump into something I'd missed. But anyway, so there's my junk. Not a lot of lead this time, or brass, just a little bit. <laughs> not a lot of pull tabs. I've got almost all of them out of there. The nice thing with that is if there is a fresh drop, you know, you're not just slaying pull tabs. I mean, you know, there's not going to be any more of these 1960s or 70s pull tabs put back in the dirt. So we did all right on cloud. Not, nothing too crazy. Uh, steel ball, you know, some other, other trash. But did get three rings. So this one's pretty cool. I don't know what this is. I mean, it looks copper to me, but it rang up a seven. So I'm doubting it's copper, but it's got some, you know, some pretty fine detail on there. I feel like this is a, a pretty old ring. Like the area I'm digging in, you know, I've found, you know, quite a few older like barber dimes and idiom head pennies and things like that. So this, this could possibly be a pretty old ring. And I would say this is definitely not a fresh drop. This one, heartbreaker, big blinger. I would say for sure this one was a fresh drop. And this was coming up like a zinc penny, uh, 22 on the Equinox. But hey, that could have easily, easily been a gold ring. And this one, which I thought was silver, it's got some weird residue on it. And it was in the clay, so I don't know if it's just clay stuck on there or what, but anyways, it's not completely clean yet, but it it actually is stamped sterling in there instead of 925. And the thing about it being stamped sterling is they pretty much went away from stamping things sterling in the 70s. So, you know, this is probably at least a 50-year-old ring. And it's pretty small, pretty delicate. It actually is got a break in it um, but yeah got some precious metals so I feel like anytime I can get some precious metals that was a good hunt and uh, yeah for what I was working with I mean you know just kind of hitting my home spot after work or I beat it up a million times already not bad all right stay tuned for the giveaway Look how many holes I've dug. Look how many pennies. And that's not like a whole year. <laughs> that's just like six months. I thought it was going to be more than that. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to say is that was a lot lower number than I was expecting. I mean, I'm pretty good at it. You know, I can usually guess pretty close because I've done it so many times, you know, how much I'm going to get. I thought I was going to get three or four hundred dollars, but my penny count was just absurd. Like I just, you know, a lot of it depends on how many quarters you get. You know, if you're in Canada or something, you'd have all those one and two dollar coins, which would really beef it up quick. But I mean, what was there? Like almost 1700 pennies and, uh. You know, that wasn't even all of them because there's, you know, a bunch of junk ones that the machine wouldn't take. So, I mean, I really go after the pennies. I know most people pass them up, but I found some big gold rings in the penny range. So, anyways, as you probably saw in that last clip, the uh, the count that uh, Coinstar paid me was $193.44. So... Timothy Stewart, you're the guy, $203.61. Go ahead and get a hold of me at a dirty, dirty money metal detecting at yahoo.com, and I'll get that mailed off to you. Congratulations, and uh, thanks to everybody for being our subscriber and uh, supporting the channel. All right, see you at the next thousand.